We're about 17 degrees cooler today compared to this time yesterday. Even more of a drop, however, in Faith as well as into Mowbridge. Over a 20 degree drop in temperature. And this is all due to this very large low pressure system here and there's a lot of moisture wrapping around it. So this is what's causing that winter weather advisory to be in effect until tomorrow morning. And you can see behind me, it is snowing pretty heavily right now, and it's not going to be stopping anytime soon. It has a very strong storm system, which impacted the south yesterday with severe weather, and even a tornado that went through Mobile, Alabama, is now moving up the eastern part of the country. There are also some severe thunderstorms that are occurring right now in Omaha. So if you know anyone out in the Omaha region, you may want to give them a heads up that these storms are moving into their we region. Have some severe weather ongoing in the Oklahoma region. You can see some cells are moving its way towards Oklahoma City. So if you do have some relatives or friends that live down there, you may want to give them a call to give them a heads up to tell them that this dangerous weather is moving their way. Time to mention some severe thunderstorm warnings that are out at this time. We do have one that is in effect until 2 p.m. for Wayne County, which is the northeastern a uh, warning here shaded in where they're going. You can see that they're starting to cross the lake as we speak. They're going to be moving west to east. I'm expecting no severe weather with this line of uh, precipitation, just some heavy downpours, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, and that's about cool front. Eventually, it's going to be making its way eastward and will not only bring us another chance for precipitation, but will also be dropping our temperatures about 20 degrees. So enjoy this warmth. Well, you can because it's not going to be lasting much longer. Well, today was just another typical day here in the month of January in the Detroit metro area. Good evening. My name is meteorologist Heather Kay, and this is your forecast for Thursday, January 3rd into Friday, January 4th, 2013. Temperatures today will be warming up into the upper 20s with some scattered snow showers here in the region. Tonight it's going to be drying out with a slight chance of flurries still remaining in the region with temperatures dropping to about 20 degrees. Tomorrow looks to be like a very beautiful day with temperatures going up to around 30 degrees with clouds starting to decrease as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. And then Saturday looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day overall with those clouds starting to work their way back in as we get into the afternoon hours with temperatures warming up into the lower 30s. Now looking at our current weather out there, it's about 26 degrees here in Detroit. We're under cloudy skies. The dew point is sitting at 19. The humidity is at 75%. The pressure is pretty high right now with a high pressure to our south giving those higher pressures to us. We're at 30.07 inches of mercury. Those winds are starting to pick up a little bit, which is starting to cool down our wind chill effect. It's at 14, respectively, for our wind chill and for our winds. Now, looking at temperatures across our region, you can see most of us are in the upper 20s with the cool spot being here in Detroit as well as in Pontiac. But looking at the state as a whole, you can see we're... The cool spot for the most part, besides Marquette, sitting at 23, Grand Rapids is the hot spot in the state at 30 degrees in some upper 20s as well as we get into Traverse City and Alpena. Now looking at our radar and satellite imagery here, you can see there's a whole, not a whole lot going on right now in the way of uh, snow showers. We do have that chance as we get through the rest of today and tonight, but looking at our radar, there's really not anything to really be concerned about as this starts to load up here. I can show you uh, what's going on here. As I drag down here, you can see there's really nothing on the radar at all right now. That could be changing as we get into the rest of tonight. There could be just some very, very isolated light snow floors, but other than that, that is it. But looking at our current service map here, in the United States, you can see that we are very, very quiet. We do have some precipitation down in the southern part of the country here in Georgia as well as into the Carolinas, Florida. Texas as well as getting into New Mexico, but around us, we just have a very weak cold front with a high pressure to the south 
bringing in some higher pressure readings for us. But in the way of the cold front, there's really not a whole lot with it. Not a whole lot of moisture, not a whole lot of forcing. So it's nothing to be worried about uh, right now. Just a little teeny weeny cold front moving through the region. And going into the next 48 hours, there's really nothing to be worried about either. As we can see here, nothing in the way of precipitation here in Michigan. You can start seeing that those isobars are getting closer together meaning that we're going to start experiencing some heavier winds, but nothing too heavy, just gusts up to 25 miles per hour as we get into Friday. But looking here, going into tomorrow afternoon as well as into tomorrow evening, some scattered flurries are trying to develop here in the upper part of the state, but it, they look to be staying away from our area until we get into Saturday evening. Now looking at today, temperatures will be getting up into the upper 20s, about 28 degrees here in Detroit, with that slight chance of snow remaining with winds out of the west southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And as we get into tonight, temperatures are going to be dropping very, very little, only to about 20 degrees. So a pretty comfortable night out there, especially for the month of January. That chance of flurries will continue to be around. And you can see the gusts are starting to pick up a little bit at 20 miles per hour and going into tomorrow a very beautiful day some clouds may be sticking around for the beginning of tomorrow but they will quickly move out and we'll have an absolutely beautiful friday with plenty of sunshine temperatures around at 28 degrees with winds picking up a little bit more with gusts to 25 miles per hour now going into the next seven days you can see here today slight chance for some flurries but Friday and Saturday look very, very nice. The temperature is starting to warm up above the freezing mark. And you can see this continues throughout the beginning of this coming week. Our next chance for precipitation will not arrive until Sunday night into Sunday. Once again, there's not a whole lot of moisture with uh, this uh, coming system. So nothing in the way of accumulation, just some light flurries around. But by the time we get to Wednesday, that's a different story. This next system will be bring in some rain and I will be keeping an eye on that and I will give you not only our chance for precipitation but maybe some amounts as well. But other than that, uh, this is your forecast for the 3rd into the 4th of January 2013 and this is meteorologist Heather Kay signing off and I hope that you all have a great night.